In this video we will cover the topic, finding the average rate of change of a function. In these types of problems we are given a function f of x and two x values. We are then asked to find the average rate of change from one point to the other point. Let's take a look at our example problem. We are given f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 2 and the two x values we are given are x equals 1 and x equals 3. To solve this problem, we must use the equation for average rate of change. Average rate of change is defined in the following way. f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1. Wait a second, where do x2 and x1 come from? The only x's I see are x equals 1 and x equals 3. Good point. The reason we use x1 and x2 is so that we can tell the difference between our two x values. In our problem, let's call x equals 1 x1 and x equals 3 x2. Oh, I see. We give each x value a name so we can tell them apart. This also kind of reminds me of a formula I used to find the slope between two points. That's a great observation. Finding the slope and finding the average rate of change are two similar processes. When we are finding the average rate of change, we are essentially finding the slope of a line passing through the points x1 f of x1 and x2 f of x2. So since we already know our x1 and x2 values, we can begin. We can start by substituting in the x2 and x1 values into our formula. The result, after substituting in our x1 and x2 values is f of 3 minus f of 1 divided by 3 minus 1. Our next step now is to find f of 3 and f of 1. To do this, we substitute those x values into the function f of x. In the case of f of 3, that means that wherever we see an x, we'll substitute in a 3. And in the case of f of 1, every x becomes a 1. Let's start with f of 3. We can now substitute 3 into the function. The result is f of 3 equals 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 2. 3 squared equals 9 plus 3 times 3 equals 9 minus 2 equals 16. Let's do the same thing with f of 1. The result after substituting 1 in for x is f of 1 equals 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 2. 1 squared equals 1, plus 3 times 1 equals 3, minus 2 equals 2. Now we can substitute the values we found for f of 3 and f of 1 back into the average rate of change formula. The result is f of 3 which equals 16, minus f of 1 which equals 2, divided by 3 minus 1. 16 minus 2 equals 14, divided by 3 minus 1, which equals 2. And 14 divided by 2 equals 7. After substituting in our values, we find that the average rate of change in the function f of x from x equals 1 to x equals 3 is 7. Okay, so let me see if I have this straight. We start by labeling two x values as x1 and x2. Then we find f of x2 and f of x1 by substituting the corresponding x values into the function. Once we know the values of f of x1 and f of x2, we substitute these values into the rate of change formula. We simplify, and then we have our average rate of change. That's right, great job. 